so today we're going on a little adventure. Welcome to my little tropical farm. We're driving to Torio. Torio is in the province of Veraguas where we live. Um, and it is more of a tourist town. There's a beach. Um, it's along the coast on the other side. So even though it's near us, it's, it's a couple hours away. Um, we're gonna drive over there and have lunch and possibly bring a surprise home to the farm. So we are heading to the surprise and you could probably hear them already. Okay. After picking up the sheep and loading them in the truck, we're following them from Torio back to our farm. We had to stop and pull over at this Mita checkpoint. Mita is the Ministry of Agriculture and they are requiring a certificate of um, health on the animals. They're basically looking for screw worm. They are so cute. Look, they're like checking us out. <laughs> These babies have kept me very busy for the past, oh gosh, almost 24 hours, but not quite. Uh, they escaped into the yard a couple of times, ate my moringa tree in seconds. We replaced, we tried to put barbed wire here, but the little one still got through the barbed wire, so we put this up. Um, it did keep them in between the barbed wire and this. They stayed in for the night. Then this morning, I actually took them down to the chicken area and enclosed them in there. They ate all the banana trees, which were fine. We had cut them down, and when you cut those down, they regrow. Um, so I didn't mind them stripping those leaves. And uh, then I let them out. It took them a while to find their way out. But... I'm not positive that they're... I saw them just go through some barbed wire that was loose. It wasn't a fence we're using, so it wasn't a big deal. But it wasn't... I was shocked at how easily they all just went through it. I mean, they could have gone around it because, it, like I said, it wasn't something we were using. But they did go through it, so I'm a little concerned. So I'm going to keep an eye on them. Tonight, they're going to go in the chicken area, which I don't think they can get out of. It's all chain link fence. And uh, we'll see how that goes. I probably won't get any sleep tonight either. So we're in the pasture and this, I wanted to show you um, their shelter. And we are locking them in here at night. Although they can uh, use the pasture and they did the first night, we have been told that the dogs bark all night because there are coyotes in the area. So although this shelter is not at this point coyote proof, we are locking them in here at night. And because I have a few spots in my gate that I realized aren't ideal for them, I need to add some barbed wire or something. Um, they, if we go into town, we're gonna lock them up in the chicken area, which is all chain link fence. So nobody should be able to get in there and they won't be able to get out. And it's got banana trees that are growing some leaves after they've been cut down. So, and they love those. So this is their shelter. There are the babies. The shelter is, I, I think the short side is 10. So I'm gonna guess the long side is 12. And there's two sides. They can go back and forth. 
um, which is fine. This trough is too high for them, but we will eventually be taking it down and putting it either on the ground or near the ground for them. Uh, here's their water. And so they come in here and they've been using this kind of as a home base. They've been coming over here um, after being out in the pasture to cool off a little bit and rest a little bit and chew their cud. And so they're doing that. Um, they seem to really be comfortable in here. One of the mamas just sat down. Um, and at night, I bring them in here with some alfalfa cubes. Although they, they are following me around a bit. Um, I think partly because I've not been giving them alfalfa in the morning. There's just so much grass in the pasture and so many trees with the leaves that they like that I haven't bothered. Now here's the other little older baby who is chewing on my electric fence. So we're gonna stop it. The fences are up here to keep the babies from climbing through, but they are not electric at this point in time. Um, or we haven't set them up to be electric. So um, so these are just up against the fence because the babies could climb through and then the mamas get really ambitious and push through the door um, and go eat in my garden. So they've already eaten a moringa tree that I just planted. And everything else they were eating, I didn't care that much about. It was either um, weeds or I have a bunch of weeds and long grasses growing in what used to be the garden. And so I'd love for them to eat that, but um, I do have a lot of things in there I don't want them to eat, so. This morning I went to run a few errands and I left the chicken door open so the chicks can go in, the bigger chicks can go in the yard. And then the sheep had followed me down there, so I thought, well, I'll just lock them in there with the chickens so that um, they're in a safe spot. And I could have sworn I just heard my sheep on the other side of the property, which is not where they should be, and I don't see them, so now I'm concerned. They scared the heck out of me because one, I didn't see them, and two, they were so quiet. But here they are, all relaxing. Two, four, six, seven. Yep, here they are, all relaxing. Oh, that was scary. Do you guys want to go in the yard? Aren't they adorable? And the chickens seem to be coming and going as they please, which is what we want. Uh, some of them are resting in the shade. And the sheep didn't break the chicken door, which was one of my fears. So that's good. You look around you could see that all the leaves from the banana trees are gone and which is fine there we don't really want them to grow back um, but that's why the sheep are resting and I'm gonna take them hopefully take them with me to go to the pasture because I can't leave the door open for them now that the chickens are out I turned my camera off for a second and missed the cutest thing. Uh, this mama just called her babies and they came bounding to her. They had stayed back in the other area as everyone walked forward. But uh, these two little guys, a boy and a girl. There's Ralph. These two little guys, a boy and a girl, are just over a month old. So this week has brought a lot of changes, um, a lot of great changes. Bringing the sheep onto the pastures has been great. Uh, very exciting. Um, also very time consuming to get it set up properly. And, uh, and then the other big thing was getting the chickens out on pasture. Or not really pasture, but in the chicken area. They're foraging like they should. And um, what else have we done this week? That, those were the big things. And next week, we've got some plans to get our water hooked up to the uh, chicken area. It should also give automatic watering to the stable area, as well as there are automatic um, water going to the chickens. So hopefully that will still work. Otherwise, we'll fix that in the next few weeks and get that going. Um, 
Please follow along on our journey by clicking subscribe and notify. And if there's anything you want to see or something we've showed in the past that we haven't given an update on that you'd like to know more about, please uh, tell us in the comments. I respond to comments pretty quickly. And uh, we look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.